welcome to the Circus of Crazy, also known as the world. I am your ringmaster, Galaxy Fink, and today we're going to talk about my braces, my entire experience with braces. We talked about me getting my glasses, so it's probably time I should talk about my braces. I've had them on for about a year and a half or so by now, um, and... It's been quite a ride. So before I could even get my braces on, I actually had to get six teeth pulled. Um, <laughs> all six of them all at once. Uh, so that was not a fun week, and it's a painful thing. Um, I And in addition to having all six teeth pulled, I believe it was this, uh, so the right upper canine? I don't think there's lower canines. I'm not going to be a dentist or a... <laughs> I'm not gonna be have anything to do with dentistry, so see why. Um, the canine that's on the right side of my mouth, up on the top, um, when that one was pulled, the new one that was supposed to be coming in, they had to attach a chain to it to uh, bring it down onto what would become my braces. Um, and that was incredibly painful because they have to cut a slit in your gums. And in addition to having all the f uh, six teeth pulled, I had four stitches there um, for the lower two teeth. I believe, and for the upper two canines, um, I had four stitches right, like, right down both sides of my mouth, so it was a very painful experience, and I didn't like that very much, and the reason why I had to get all six of them pulled is because they were all still six of them baby teeth. Um, two of my molars hadn't come in yet, and there were still two other teeth that would have to be pulled that were baby teeth, um, so those will come a little bit later, um, because my mouth doesn't like to grow, apparently. Um, apparently it goes in conjunction with my height. <sighs> but, anyway, I have got the first four braces on, um, and you know, everything was fine. I just got like four or six on the top, I don't remember anymore. Um, and this is at like, what, May, April? Um, like, uh, May, April around there, because I got the 16th pulled late January. Um, or early February, I don't remember which. Um, so this is like May, March, May, March, May, like that around time frame, um, that I got the first four put on. And then, after that we moved to like doing the entire upper first, so those would all get done, and then we moved to the entire bottom lower. Um, so the main reason for me making this video, which is we're gonna talk about today, is the fact that I keep breaking off the braces on the bottom of my mouth. So first things first, we put on braces on the first set of molars in the back. And that they were mostly fine except for the one on the left, which I was biting down on it when I bit down for the first time. So he put it on like this little like plastic, the doctor put on like this little like plastic covering so that I wouldn't bite down on it too, too much. And I wouldn't either A, hurt the teeth on top or B, break off the bracket. That one worked fine. That worked fine. It was a little bit uncomfortable because they put a lot of plastic on there, but it worked fine. So the next one up, uh, just about a week or so ago, about I'd say about two weeks ago now, they put braces on my back molars. Um, and in that time, I have visited the dentist, uh, the uh, orthodontist, three times um, because they have broken off now four times. Um, so. That's the thing that's happened. I don't know if anyone else does, does this. Apparently, I'm strange, but I clench my teeth. Like, I don't grind them, but I clench them. Like, you'll close your mouth, and then you'll close it, like, harder. I don't know if this is normal. I think it is. I think it's normal. Um, I see people do it. I think it's normal, even if you don't think yourself it's normal. Um, I think it is normal. So, that's a thing I do, and I think it may be causing the braces in the molar to pop off. I don't know why though. Um, that's the weird thing, because even if I was clenching, that shouldn't shift the position of my mouth, right? So I shouldn't like, if I'm biting down normally and I just bite down a little bit harder, that shouldn't change like where my tooth is. So I don't understand why that's gonna break off a brace, but it does, apparently. So first of all, the uh, one on the right fell out and it fell off. And what happens there is, because you have wires on both sets. So what happens is that when it popped off, it still is on the wire, um, and I think it popped off, like, early in the morning, um, so I was just, like, eating breakfast, you know, as you do, totally normal, and then suddenly, um, I just, like, bite down, just normally, and there's just, like, a very painful feeling, because the problem is, it's my last set of molars in the back, 
So when you when the br the bracket will get like stuck in the back of the mold of the gums and you can't feel it until you like start chewing on something or like it it might just like shift the slightest bit to where it had like settled once it broke off and it's incredibly painful. So then you're like digging in the back, digging in the back. So it ended up pulling that bracket off. Um, and it was fine. Um, it pulled off, but then right after that you have to deal with the wire. Um, because then the wires in the back in the back and it doesn't like stab you so much but if anybody else has braces um i know that this is a common thing for people who have braces where you run your uh tongue along them all the time um just because you know they're not technically supposed to be there um evolutionary wise you know braces are a very new thing um and they've only been on me for a year so while i've technically gotten used to it my body still really hasn't and they kind of won't because it's there to change things um so you know you're not used to it and you run your, t your tongue along it a lot and um that means they get stabbed in the tongue <laughs> Um, with the wire if the bracket falls off in the back because now there's nothing like holding it there where you're used to like having it like supplanted there now the wires just kind of like hanging free so when you run your uh, when I run my tongue along the back of it it'll stab me in the mouth because now the wire moves so that one fell off and we went there and we got it put back on um, and then a few days after that uh, the uh, left bracket fell off and when that one fell off um, I Immediately, like, my tongue went to it, but the wire snapped off as well, um, with the brackets. So then we had to go back to the orthodontist to put on the new bracket and an entirely new wire, um, because now the wire was messed up. So that was a thing. Um, so great. Now, still brackets in the back of the molar. So fast forward to, uh, yesterday morning, um, I woke up and the left bracket had fallen off again um, at some point somehow. When I woke up, it was fine. Um, when I was eating, it was fine. That's the really strange thing is that I'll eat. I was like halfway done with my breakfast and then it was like suddenly off. So I have no idea for any reason. The I can almost kind of firmly say that the reason why it doesn't fall off, like it isn't clenching, which is the reason why it's falling off because otherwise it wouldn't have done that like a week later like that makes no sense um so we scheduled an orthodontist appointment after school um for me to go and put the bracket on again so we went there put on the bracket he tried this new thing where he had me bite down before he put it on that way hopefully it would like be in place but it didn't clench when i bit down um and so we get out of there you know and i'm in the car and i bite down and i clench and the bracket breaks off <laughs> 20 minutes after getting this bracket put into my mouth, it is broken off of my tooth again. Um, I did hit a new record for the dentist, um, for the orthodontist office. Um, apparently I was a record of having an SOS, which means that there is something desperately wrong that we need to fix. Um, so 20 minutes. I have broken four brackets off of my teeth and uh, one of them was in 20 minutes. So really I have skills apparently. Um, but when that one broke off, I was actually a little bit worried because the glue hadn't, like, like, I could still taste the glue when it broke off. So I was like, okay, whoa, 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 if, like, is there gonna be something wrong with, like, you know, swallowing the glue or whatever, or, like, the glue being in my mouth? I don't even think it's all out yet. Um, because they have to, like, clean it off, and he didn't clean it off last time. By the way, when he went back, there's no brace in the back here. He just gave up. He's like, I'm not even gonna put one on you again. It's really not that important. We'll deal with it later. Clearly, this tooth does not want you to have a bracket on it. Um, so, right now, I'm a little bit lopsided, because I've got a bracket on this molar, but not a bracket on this molar. Um, so I'm special, is what I'm hearing. Um, but... I'm supposed to have the braces off in like six months, um, I think, like six months to like a year, which I know is a big span of time, but like, I don't remember the exact times, um, because frankly, you're supposed to, supposed to, if you're not me, the orthodontist appointment is once every like a month, um, so I don't exactly remember every single time, uh, what he says, like how long I'll have them on, and it changes too, depending on how cooperative my mouth is being, um, Lately, and I think usually I've been a little bit faster than, like, the set, like, average time. Uh, my mouth has been changing a little bit faster is what I've been doing. So my sister had her braces on for a while. My brother had his on a 
think about a year and a half. So if I get some off in a year and a half, um, I might actually beat my brother's time with it, and that'll be cool because um, I got eight teeth pulled. Eight teeth pulled, you know. Um, so that was fun. Oh, by the way, the other two teeth got pulled before the bottom braces went on. Um, they were teeth on the bottom that had to get pulled so that the new teeth could come in and we could put the braces on them. Uh, I think those were the first molars that they had to pull on the bottom. And that was also not a fun experience. But everybody keeps uh, talking about wisdom teeth and how wisdom teeth are different. Um, but when I went in for the um, second uh, teeth pulled on the bottom, um, second time, they sat me down and they showed me the wisdom teeth video. I'm like, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not getting the wisdom teeth pulled. I have two more on the bottom here. They're like, you're, you're 15. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm special. Um, so I've had eight teeth pulled, and the strange thing is that I, I think uh, he said, the orthodontist said I wouldn't need to get all of the wisdom teeth pulled. I think they said um, I would at least be able to keep the ones on the bottom, I think is what he said, because there's four wisdom teeth, um, and I think he said I would at least be able to keep the ones on the bottom, or maybe it was just the ones on the top, or maybe it was that I didn't have to have any pulled, but I remember I didn't, I remember him saying that it looked like I wouldn't have to have all four teeth all four wisdom teeth pulled, which is good news because I've heard that that is agony. Um, and honestly, I can't see how it's all that much different from getting the six teeth pulled at one time and having the uh, slip cut in the top of it, but I'm not eager to find out. So that's going to be all for today's video. Um, if you guys have any orthodontist adventures, like, oh, rubber bands, I've heard that those are a nightmare. I had a friend who had spacers. Those are not fun either. I don't have to have either. I'm so happy about that. As far as I'm aware, I know I won't have to have a spacer. As far as I'm aware, I won't need rubber bands either. Um, I know my sister had rubber bands, and I think my brother did too, but I don't think it looks like, I think it looks like I won't need them, which I am. I'm all game for. Um, so, that's gonna be all for today's video. If you like, you may like down below and comment. You can click right here to subscribe, and you can click right here for more of my videos. Thanks! Bye!